What up, YouTube? Today we are going to be unboxing and testing out the Wow Stick 1F Plus Precision Electric Screwdriver. Oh, I'm kind of excited to test this out. This is my first time trying an electric screwdriver that was meant for um, repair or mobile repair. Um, so we're going to test it out too with a MacBook. All right, so it looks like it just slides out right there. And the first thing I see is I'm a screw pad. Cool, it comes with a screw pad. Let's see what's going on. Oh, that's kind of pretty cool. Nice little magnetic screw pad. Comes with it. This is really nicely organized and labeled. So I'm a bits group. It tells you I'm A and then it says exactly what it is. I really like this, that's cool. All right, so we got the base, the bits group, the actual dual power screwdriver, and then the case on the toolbox. All right, let's see what's going on. All right, looks like we got some instructions or something in Chinese, Japanese, Chinese. Let's see, let's open up the toolbox first. Let's see what's inside of here. So we have got the, guessing that's the charge cable. It's just a Android charger, micro USB. Um, a magnet thing, magnetize, that's pretty cool. Uh, looks like some extra screws. Not really sure <laughs> what that's for, uh, and a pick. These do look like uh, some basic laptop screws that you would see in like Lenovo or HP laptops, but I'm not sure why they would include that. Maybe I have to put something together though. Uh, nice little uh, gel silica pack. I like to save those for dinner. They're really good for marinating chicken. Got your case. Oh, that's satisfying. Oh, magnet. I like that. That's really nice. Cool little case. All right, big bits group with X2, whatever that means. All right, so it looks like they're in these little um, tube tubes. Uh, this kind of reminds me of those like pencils that you would get like the book fair that you would open up and they would smell like strawberries or something but that's pretty sick so open this side oh and then it slides out like that that is actually really cool i thought that they were all just gonna plop out and you'd have to fish them back in there that is awesome so we have got looks like you got the tri-wing bits uh, some stars, P6, P2s, your T's, your Torx. Um, honestly, this looks like it has everything you'd need, except for a Phillips head. Phillips head is probably... Oh, so there's a lot of bits here. Let's see what the X1 looks like. All right, so... Looks like he's got your... Uh, Phillips head, flatheads, circle drives, or not circle drives, but H O dot sevens. <laughs> I guess those are pentagons. Yeah. All right, cool. Let's check out the actual screwdriver itself. That is clean. That looks really nice. Cool beans. That's awesome. Oh, and it's already it's ready to go. Hmm. That's really sick. I wonder how you turn it into loosen mode. Hmm. I guess I'll have to read something about it to figure that out. 
Uh, let's check out this last bit group and then we'll check out the base. All right, X3, this has got some triangles and some squares, another Phillip, bigger Phillips, um, and some more H. I don't even know what that is, H screws. <laughs> that is the wrong way. Open this way, it tells you which way to open it. Nice and sleek. I like those the bit design there. Let's see what this base looks like. When I got this in the mail, my employees were joking that it um, didn't really look like a screwdriver. It looked like uh, more of a play tool. <laughs> so I guess it just sits like that, which I guess that's what it looks like, you know? <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna figure out um, how to change this to loosen mode. And I'm also gonna grab a MacBook and let's see if we can get it open with the file stick. Let's get it done. All right, so I was looking around the box. I was trying to find instructions. I couldn't find any, but I did notice one thing right here, 69. So this has 69 bits and it looks how it looks tell me they didn't do that on purpose i mean come on just tell me but so i went ahead and charged it up uh <laughs> and i figured out that to go uh back or to unscrew you actually just hit the top of the button and to go to tighten the screw you press the forward of the button uh didn't say that anywhere i didn't really get that it took me a little bit to figure that out but yeah, so what I'm gonna be doing today, opening up this MacBook that is already missing some screws, so it's been opened before, so it should be easy for this thing. Um, this MacBook does need a keyboard swap, and oh man, those are fun. Let me tell you, if you've never done a keyboard swap on a MacBook uh, A1278, then you are missing out. These are a blast. Ooh, nice. So I gotta magnetize this thing. It's helpful with the magnetizer that comes with it. It does feel kind of big, bigger than I'm used to when holding a screwdriver. Um, mainly because I'm used to the iPhone screwdrivers, but Let's really get it magnetized. Alrighty. It does get them out. It gets them out. It's kind of weird to like not touch the button, but I feel like I'll get used to it. Alright. Okay, okay. Honestly, it's getting these screws out really well, but like I said, this MacBook has been worked on before, so it shouldn't have any issue getting these screws out. All right, the dust book. Let's see how it gets some of these uh, motherboard screws out. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take out the fan and let's disconnect the battery first. Oh yeah. All right, so let's see what bit we're using today. I'm gonna guess it's gonna be in the torques and the T's. Yeah. Open this way. Let's see, let's see. Is that something? That is not it. The bits do slide in really well, which is something cool that I like. That's not it, that's close. Hmm. See, you would think it would be in there. You know, maybe it's one of these. Ah, yeah, there we go. Found it. I'll put 
put that bit back in later. All right, let's see if we can get this fan out of here. Oh, it did have some issues there, but it got it out. It got it out, I can't, I can't say it didn't. Let's try this one, corner screw, let's see. Oh, nice. So we can get motherboard screws out. This is beautiful. That'll save some time and some effort. holds up right there oh my button just got stuck hoping that doesn't occur again but you know these are motherboard screws and all that all right so sometimes it does take a second to get it and sometimes my button does jam up but i'm really liking the screw pad that came with it that's pretty cool Good chance for me to dust this thing out too. Cool. So my button does keep getting stuck. I don't know what that's about, but as far as usability, it's working really well. Grab some of these tweezers and flick that up. Pull these out. Flick this up and pull these out. And get the rest of these motherboard screws out. Oh, and tighten them. Oh, it's kind of weird when you. You might need to use two hands sometimes, honestly. Yeah, two hands is a little bit easier. I'm assuming it's just getting used to the screwdriver because I can't really pinpoint it as direct as I'd like but I'm not complaining it's taking a lot of the work out of me all right let's see if we can slide you out of here now MacBook board oh uh, you're still hanging on to the DC I remember these come on Oh, this thing is dusty. Dusty, dusty. Honestly, I'm wondering if it's easier to just take it out with the DC board. I'm thinking that might be, might be the easiest route here. I don't feel like I'm plugging it with all that dust there. I wanna clean it out. do have to pop this off here oh yeah oh yeah this thing is dusty as fuck it's hurting my eyes to look at <clears throat> oh this hurts <clears throat> COVID wearing a mask, I should be wearing a mask doing this. This is dusty. Fuck it, I'm unplugging the DC board. It's just crusty. Ah, got it. You see all that yummy stuff? Ugh. <clears throat> I gotta get up for a second. <laughs> Yuck, that is fucking nasty. Let's see if I can zoom in. Show the grossness. Yeah. What in the fuck? We are definitely gonna be um replacing <laughs> some 
thermal paste on here. Uh, but yeah, I think that pretty much concludes my um, review of the WowStick 1F Plus. Going to be using it to um, take this keyboard out, which is going to be nice because this is over 50 screws, I think. Um, but I have to clean it out first. But yeah, this screwdriver is nice. My button does keep getting stuck. That's the one. I mean, it seems to be fine now. Maybe it just needs some greasing up, some loosening up. Um, and that it didn't come with English instructions. But I really like what I'm seeing so far. And as I use it more, I bet I'll like it even more. So yeah, that's it. Uh, thanks for watching. If you don't mind, click that subscribe button and the like button. Leave a comment down below what you think. Uh, and yeah, have a good rest of your day, guys. Peace.